Well, let's take a look or rather a listen to three different methods for working with audio in MATLAB. Let me begin by defining a sampling rate of 10 kilohertz. So my sampling frequency F sub S is 10 kilohertz. Next, I'll define a sampled time array running from zero to one second with a sampling interval of the reciprocal of the sampling rate. Then I'll define a simple sinusoidal tone. We'll say, let's store that in Y. This is sine of two pi times the frequency 440 hertz times T. We can take a listen to this by typing sound, the name of the signal, comma, the sampling rate, and we just heard it there. I'm gonna try some modifications to amplitude. Should hear that it keeps getting softer. All right, let's try getting back to unit amplitude. Now take a listen. That harsh sound is evidence of clipping. Anytime it goes above plus minus one, we hear clipping. Now I'm using the modified version of sound called sound with scaling. And take one more amplitude. Sound with scaling normalizes all of the audio range to the plus minus one range before playing it out. And so you never have problems with clipping, but you also cannot hear any variations in the overall amplitude. All right, let's move on to a little more interesting version of a sinusoid. This signal is called chirp. It's based on our sampled time vector. It's going to start from 110 hertz, go for 10 seconds, and end up at six times 110 hertz. Let's take a listen. Oops, it only went for one second. I need to go back and change my time vector to go out to 10 seconds. All right, let's recall the commands. Try again. Sounds pretty good. One disadvantage of sound, however, is that once you type sound, you have to wait for the entire audio to finish before you can do anything else. Let me show you an alternative that's a little more flexible. This is based on the function audio player. I say audio player, my signal name, comma, the sampling rate, and then assign that to an object called P. We see that the variable an object in this case looks a little bit different up in the workspace viewer. Let's go ahead and type the object name by itself. And this reveals all of the properties associated with this audio player object. For example, sample rate, bits per second, number of channels would indicate two if you had stereo, total number of samples in the audio, and so on. Lots of different properties. You can access any desired property from the command line using the period notation. So I say the object name, period, and then total samples as an example, and we see the value 100,001. And that matches what we saw earlier. All right, let's play some audio from this object. We say play. And now you can pause any time that you like. You can then resume. And when you do a stop, that brings you back to the beginning. And one variation on play is called play blocking. That means the command line does not return until the audio has finished. And sometimes that can be helpful to prevent further execution of commands until the audio has completely finished. You can find out more information by typing help win and then play. 
In particular, I'll draw your attention to this example. It shows you how you can start and stop for a defined range of time. I'm going to illustrate from the same example here where you're starting at the beginning. But this is nice because you can actually play excerpts anywhere or using any starting point that you like inside the audio. I'm starting here at sample 1 and then I'm going to take the sample rate times the desired number of seconds, in this case 3, and then it will play out exactly 3 seconds of audio from the beginning. Alright, now you know how to play sound in MATLAB.